Hi folks, Rod Moore from More Art School and welcome to the More Art School website. Just wanted to spend a moment and just share with you a little bit about my personal journey on how I came to start painting. And I find it quite an interesting journey because, you know, if you'd said to me 10 years ago that I was going to become a full-time professional artist with my own TV show, painting, you know, doing paintings that I love to do that give me so much joy and happiness, um, to be selling paintings, to have a TV show and to set up an art school and inspire people all around the world to uh, take a painting, I would have laughed at you, right? Even if you'd said to me, you know, five years ago that you were going to do great looking paintings, uh, you know, I wouldn't have believed it because I'd never picked up a brush, I'd never done anything artistic really in my life. Now I had been creative, I have to say that. Um, I'd been a musician from my late teens and I played guitar and I wrote songs. So there was always a creative element of my being. But the thought of actually becoming an artist and painting never occurred to me. And I don't know what your goals are, what you, you know, maybe you just want to learn to paint just for a bit of fun as a hobby. And I think that's probably the best reason to start painting, you know, just to have a bit of fun, do some paintings that you're proud of and you can put up on your wall or maybe give to family and friends as gifts. I think that's one of the best reasons um, to learn how to paint. So maybe your goals are, you've got higher goals than that. You want to become a artist who develops a career, you know, and becomes a career artist and earns a living from art as, as I've been able to do. Um, whatever your goals are, are. It doesn't matter where you're starting right now. See, five years ago, I hadn't picked up a brush, right? And I was in my late 30s. And what happened was I was about to go over to London on a business trip. I had um, four or five days in London doing some seminars and speaking and so on before I was going on to Denmark um, to do the same thing. So it was a business trip. And just before I left, I was talking to my father. Now, unbeknown to me, my father, 10 years earlier, had started playing around with some watercolor painting. And um, I didn't know that, but I got chatting to him on the phone and he was telling me that if you go into London, there's a exhibition on by Turner. Now, I'd never heard of Turner, didn't know who he was, right? Um, but he said, there's a great exhibition on, you might like it, go and have a look. And um, you know, as things unfolded, here I am in London, I've got half a day free in between appointments and, and so on. And I happened to be walking past the very gallery, which was Tate Britain Gallery down by the Thames River. And there's the big sign, Turner Exhibition. And so I thought to myself, you know what, I'll pop in and I'll buy a little book or something for my father. And uh, just so I could say to him, hey, I've been to the exhibition and here's a, you know, a book on Turner because I knew that he liked Turner. So I plan to spend maybe half an hour there, max, you know. Um, so in I go, buy the book. You know, I thought I'd better pop it and just have a quick look, right? <laughs> have a look around. And, uh, and so on the walls were these incredible paintings. Now, if you don't know J.W. Turner, he's probably Britain's greatest, most well-known artist from the, I think, late 17th century, or 1700s into the 1800s. And um, so I walk into this gallery and there's paintings on the wall I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I'd never been in the gallery before and seen master artwork. Now there's something very different from seeing a photo in a book or on the internet versus actually standing in front of the great masterpieces of all time. Right? There's a soul and an energy that comes through a painting when you stand in front of the painting that the artist's hand has touched. I really believe that. And some of you will know what I mean by that. You know, if you've been to some of the great galleries in the world and stood in front of some of the great paintings, you know what I mean by that soul and energy coming through. Right? Others of you won't be quite sure what I mean, but you go, and, go and stand in front of some of the great paintings. So there I am, Turner's oil paintings and his watercolor paintings. And I have to admit, I became mesmerized and spellbound by these paintings. They just were breathtaking. And I had this intuitive knowing in that moment. I was there for about three hours as things turned out, just looking at these paintings. And in that time, I knew that my destiny was going to be becoming an artist. I didn't know what that meant exactly. I didn't know how soon or how long, but I knew that in my future, I was going to become an artist. It's just this you know, feeling that I had. And then interestingly, and so what happened? I started getting all these self-doubts, right? I started thinking, I started, I walked away from there thinking, gee, wouldn't it be great to be an artist, you know, and spend all day painting and being creative and creating these beautiful pictures and people come and give you money for it and they take their paintings away. Wouldn't that be a life? You know, I just couldn't imagine anything more exciting as a thing to do, or even as a hobby, you know, a way to spend your time instead of watching television and all that rubbish, creating some beautiful paintings. So I walked away thinking this. And then what happened, of course, is 
my mind, my, my conscious mind starts saying, you could never do that. You know, what makes you think you could be an artist? You've never painted before. You're in your late 30s. If you're going to be an artist, you would have started years ago, right? And I start I'm walking down Broadway, right? Crazy busy, lots of things happening. And this huge guy stood in front of me and he thrust a CD into my hand, right? And he was a native Indian American guy. And I was a bit unsure, right? I didn't know what was going on because I was in my own daydream, you know, walking along. <laughs> and um, he thrust, thrust this CD into my hand and my instant reaction was, you know, no thanks, whatever. I didn't even know it was a CD at the time, right? Didn't even know. Um, but my instant reaction was, well, you know, don't just being a little bit cautious, probably overly cautious, but hey, it was first time in New York and so on. Um, and, and I sort of said to him, no thanks man, that, that's cool. And he, he looked me right in the eye and he said, come on man, you're an artist. And I was like, what? <laughs> and off I went. And I, it just kept playing on my mind that, you know, it was almost like he looked into my soul and, and he could see that deep down what I really was that I couldn't see it myself. You know? I don't know if you've ever felt that way, like, you know that you want to become an artist and you have this feeling that you've got this creative energy and you want to start painting. You're just unsure of where to start. Right? So long story short, I went down to the $2 shop and I bought some cheap paints and I had no idea what colors to get. I didn't even know what a primary color was at the time, right? How to mix colors or anything. I had no idea what to get. I bought all this stuff and I went home and I created a few little paintings and they were pretty average because I had no instruction, I had no guide, no teaching, no mentoring. And so you know what I did? I put all of the material I had into the cupboard and I assumed that because the paintings weren't any good, my first couple of attempts, I assumed I had no talent and that I wasn't meant to be a painter. You know? I don't know if you've done that, painted a couple of paintings that you weren't happy with and then just automatically assumed that, hey, you know, that's the people who are gifted, they've got talent, they're born with it, right? which is not the case at all, which is what I came to find out later on. What I lacked was instruction, you know, someone to teach me the basic fundamentals. Right? And if you don't have that, then of course every painting you're gonna do is gonna turn out bad. Now, there are some artists who are self-taught who figure out a way, right? But for the majority of us, you know, you and I, we need to get some instruction first, the fundamentals, before we can start to create paintings that are reasonable and would practice they become very good paintings, right? I didn't know that, so under the you know, into the cupboard went all the paints and canvases and things that I bought. Six months go by and um, my wife and I were renovating a house. At night time, I was staying in the sort of house with not much to do, no furniture or anything like that. I thought, you know, I might just try that painting thing again. So I went and got some watercolour paintings. And I painted 40, 50, maybe 100. I've got them all sitting down in my desk here as a reminder, right? And every single one of them was a disaster. And so I started to recognize I need to go and get some instruction. And I enrolled in the local art class, um, at the in local art society, and did a few things like that. Now, the problem I had with that was that when I went, went into the local art class, it was very unstructured. You know, the teacher himself was a good artist. Um, there were some good artists in the room, but the methodology of teaching was completely unstructured. There was no start here, then do this, then do this, then do this, and by the time you've done those basic steps, you'll be on your way to becoming an artist. There was nothing like that. So I became frustrated, you know. Um, it was just like free format, do your own thing, and, and hope for the best. It didn't suit me at all. You know, I wanted a, a methodology of learning how to paint. It's just the way I think, and maybe you think the same way. Um, I went to a three-day workshop with one of the world's best watercolour painters, a current contemporary watercolour artist. And I became totally overwhelmed and deflated. And I walked away from thinking um, after that three days that that was it. I was never going to be any good at painting. Right? Um, because again, there was no structure methodology for teaching new people how to get started painting. Um, even though it was a brilliant workshop, and I'm sure if you had... 10 years of experience, you would have got a lot out of it. But it wasn't for somebody like myself and maybe where you're at right now, just really starting out. So anyway, bit by bit, I started to buy lots of DVDs, really studying them, 
doing lots of practice and learning the fundamental techniques. And my painting started to improve. And then I found a mentor who I learned so much from. Um, and you know, it's a funny thing, but when you're ready to really start to learn how to paint, the teacher appears, the right person to mentor you will start to appear in your life, right? And when they do, you want to embrace that person and learn from them everything that you can. Well, I found a chap who was a, a very famous Australian artist, um, and I really connected with his style, and he took me from where I was to a much higher level with my painting, and uh, you know, painting in oil painting and so on. Um, I'd switch from watercolor and painting in oils and acrylics, and I'd had some experience, I'd got better, and this mentor, now, you know, you've got to find the mentor to meet you where you're at right now. Um, I'd already had a couple of years of painting. He took me to a whole new level because of the new insight that I gained. Now, I'll just show you. This is one of the paintings that I've done recently. This is a little seascape that I call Fishing Buddies. Um, you know, it's got an atmospheric sky and we've got a couple of people painting, you know, painting, <laughs> a couple of people fishing there. We've got the activity with the birds and the pelican trying to steal fish out of the bucket, um, the crashing waves. If you'd said to me three years ago that I was going to paint a painting like that, I wouldn't have believed you, right? So I just want to demonstrate to you that it doesn't matter where you are right now, you can learn step by step and progressively get better, find the right teacher, learn everything you can from them, get the instruction, the fundamentals, and with practice you'll start to improve and paint paintings like this. Seascapes are one of my favourite things to paint. I don't know what your favourite things are, um, but that's one of the you know sort of paintings that I'm doing um, currently. And you know this is just a step in my journey. In another five years, that will look like an amateurish painting to me, right? Um, because I'm going to prog keep progressing now that I know the step-by-step -step approach to becoming a very good artist. This is a little landscape that I did a couple of months ago, and um, dramatic improvement on my previous landscapes. Now I know that there's going to be artists watching this video who have got much more experience than me and they've got much better skill and technique and they're going to look at my paintings and go, well, you know, they're not that good. And if you're that person, then this is not the video for you, right? This is the video for people who are wanting to start out painting, who have never picked up a brush before or they have, but haven't quite got the results they're looking for, right? You're the person I'm really talking to here. So this is an example of a landscape painting. And what I came to learn about the seascape painting and the landscape painting is that when you understand the, the simple process of how to create a painting like this, and that process we teach today at More Art School and through our courses, when you understand what the process is, this becomes relatively easy. Right? Now, it takes some practice and you know, skill development, learning how to mix color, learning how to use the brush and so on. Um, but over time, you can progress to something of this level quite quickly with the right instruction. You know the biggest mistake that I made when I was trying to learn how to paint? The biggest mistake I made was leaving it too long before I got the right level of instruction. So I spent way too long frustrated with the results I was producing, right? Don't do that, you just waste time. Right? Get the instruction you need and you'll improve and start painting paintings that you know really do please you. Now, in my house today, I've got lots of my paintings up on the walls and I love it. Right now, I'm going to you know sell them and move them on, and I'll replace them with the next lot of current paintings that I'm doing. It's such a joy to really start to get to a point where you're painting paintings that you are happy to put up on your wall. Right? I hope you come and join me. I hope if you're just starting out, if you're a beginner or you've never picked up a paintbrush before, or you've been painting for a little while and you know not quite getting the results you're looking for, I hope you embrace what I've shared with you in this um, in this video, and you come and join us and come and start to learn the right way to paint. Happy painting.